What is settlement day with your best friend, Ruby Dog? She wanted to sit on my lap, so here we go. Settlement day, it's also referred to as signing day or closing day. For me, signing day sounds like sports related, like who, where you're going for college or being signed to a pro team. But that's just me. So settlement day or closing day is the official date where you are signing the documents to make the home officially your own. Congratulations, you'll be purchasing your first house. Now, you actually have to state when you're writing an offer what day that will be. That has to be Monday through Friday during the week while the banks are open. You can also change that day and the time is later figured out. Well, what do you do at settlement? You make sure the money that you need to bring for settlement is brought either sent ahead of time in a wire or a cashier's check and then you will be signing, if you have a mortgage, you'll be signing the, the mortgage documents and you'll be signing the deed to officially transfer the ownership from the sellers to yourself. People are confused at where settlement is usually held. Settlement is held typically in the state of Pennsylvania at the title agent's office. They are notaries so they can notarize the documents that are being signed and holding the funds necessary from the bank if there's a bank involved and the buyers and then transferring that officially to the sellers or to the bank of the sellers to pay off the mortgage. In other states, it's more of a requirement to use a real estate attorney. In Pennsylvania, you can use them, but more often than not, you're using a title company. The question I hear is, how do you get to settlement? The settlement date could be referred to as the last day of being under contract. You've done all the steps. You've gotten pre-approved. You talked with an agent. You looked at homes, you found the home you wanted, you wrote an offer, you've done all the paperwork necessary for the title company and the mortgage company leading up to this, and now you're officially signing it and owning the home today. I wouldn't say it's an anticlimactic end to all the hard work you've done, but it doesn't seem as fun because you're just signing a lot of different documents. But the party is once you move into the home, you can have people over, or however you choose to celebrate. Some people just want to do their own thing and just relax in the place that they got for themselves. And you know what? Good for them. What to bring to settlement? Very good question. You'll need to make sure you bring the exact, exact amount of funds necessary to purchase the property. If it's a quick settlement and things are coming last minute, it's a good idea to bring an extra personal check that's if it's a under a thousand dollars of a difference, but you 100% need one governmental ID. Best to have a second one as well, just in case. So that would be military ID, driver's license, passport, and then you could have like proof of insurance, whether it's car or healthcare uh, as well, in case the lending company or title company needs another form of ID. But really that's all you need to bring. Yeah, you kind of come in mostly empty handed besides like the check if you have one. A lot of my clients like get worried that they're like forgetting something or not bringing something to settlement. And I'm like, no, I promise it's just those things. You're good to go. We're going to sign these documents and then the home is officially yours. At settlement, real estate agents don't really do much because we've done all the work with you guys ahead of time, whether selling or buying. Usually I just try to crack jokes and relieve any tension if there is any there or just help pass the time because sometimes there's like a random thing that comes up um, that just delays the, the settlement instead of being, you know, 45 minutes or an hour turns into like an hour 15. But I work really hard to make sure that doesn't happen and my parties that I work with solve those issues out. So thanks again for tuning into this video. If you have any real estate questions, feel free to drop it in the comments. I'm going to be making videos on a lot of different topics. And if you want to see more pictures of Ruby here or just more video content of Ruby, like the video and I can do that.